Hello everyone, this is Anubhuti from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Anubhuti. I like to talk about makeup and beauty and product reviews. Um, not necessarily all the new makeup, all the new skincare reviews. Uh, I, I do like to take my own time with the products. I um, and I use what I have in my collection for a really, really long time before I decide to share my review on it. Um, also, I have super sensitive skin, so most of my reviews are influenced by that factor. If that is something you are interested in, please hit the subscribe button and welcome to the family. I also am trying to explore doing the planning content on my channel because that is something I started I started planning from uh, 2019 somewhere and then now I feel more confident about sharing my journey here. So now let's kick off today's video. As you know from the title, this video is going to be a review video for a skincare product by The Ordinary. It is called The Ordinary Ascorbic Acid to 8% uh, and Alpha Butin 2%. Uh, this is a vitamin C serum by The Ordinary. Let me give you a little bit introduction about this product. It is perfect for brightening skin and minimizing the appearance of uneven skin tone. This is optimized uh, for an ideal stability because vitamin C is known to be very unstable, especially if it comes in contact with water. This particular um, serum, um, scorbic acid 8% and alpha butin 2% is a completely water-free formula. It is an anhydra solution. Um, uh, it feels slightly oily. It might feel slightly oily for a few seconds after application, uh, despite it being an oil-free formula as well. Vitamin C is an effective antioxidant. It uh, targets uneven skin tone, um, signs of aging, hyperpigmentation, and antioxidant support. Alpha butin is a synthetic purifying agent, uh, which takes care of, uh, re which reduces the look of dark, dark spots and uneven skin tone. So overall, this uh, serum targets uneven skin tone, dark spots, hyperpigmentation, signs of aging, and antioxidant support it provides to the skin. Yes, now product introduction is off the way, how to use this product. Always do a patch test when you start using a new skincare product, especially if you have a sensitive skin. I like to do two, type, two types of patch tests. One I do is inside of my uh, arm and then another I like to do behind my ear. And uh, I like to clean and then apply the product there, leave it on for at least 24 hours um, and then... Uh, wait for a day or two uh, to see if any after effects are there and then I start slowly introducing it in my skincare routine. How I like to use this one, um, I introduced it once a week and then for, for a week I, it went fine and then I started using it twice a week and then one week went okay and then I started using it every alternate day and then it became uh, normal. Then I started using it almost every day, once a day. Um, this can be used both AM and PM. Use sunscreen if you're using it during the morning routine. Um, yeah, I like to take two drops of it on palm, on my palms and uh, spread it in my palms and then rub it on my face. I like to apply it and I press it in the skin. Um, when you are beginning with the serum, this might give slightly warming sensation, not burning sensation slightly warming sensation on your uh, skin nothing too alarming um, and when your skin gets used to it you don't notice that warming sensation anymore so that is something i wanted to call out uh, it's just nothing to worry about but it should not burn it is just slightly warming sensation it's almost finished so then um, this is how the serum looks like if i can get it on here it has just literally one or two usage left so yeah, this is how the serum looks like. Uh, it is kind of a transparent, slightly cloudy uh, kind of serum. It is not sticky at all. Um, I need only two to three drops for my face and neck area. Conflicts. Uh, because this is a product containing an active ingredient, it does have a conflict, which means a uh, conflict basically means you cannot use uh, that particular ingredient along with this one so ordinary website have very detailed information about which products how to use them which products cannot be used together and etc etc 
So they mentioned that it should not be used with niacinamide or EUK134 serum. So those are two conflicts to look out for if you are planning to use this one. Coming to the effectiveness of the serum. So like I mentioned, I started using it slowly and when I started using it, um, if you have seen my previous videos or previous reviews, you know, uh, during my pregnancy, I had a very intense melasma on my face, so on my cheeks. Now it's very lightened, but it was very intense. And then I started using a few products which are used safe to use in pregnancy. And vitamin C was one of those ingredients which are safe to use in pregnancy and skincare. So then um, this is not the first vitamin C serum from The Ordinary which I started with. They have another one which is uh, Scorbyl Glucoside 12% because that particular product uh, is also um, less potent with, because it had scorbyl glucoside, which is also a derivative from uh, vitamin C. Um, and it's less potent, which means it's less strong uh, than actual ascorbic acid. So then I started using with started with that product because I have super sensitive skin and I started with that product and that product also do not have any conflicts. I also have review on that. I will link it in the description box below. Please do check it out if you are just planning to start with vitamin C. Coming back to ascorbic acid 8% and alpha butin 2%. Uh, I, um, when my ascorbyl glucoside solution got finished, I started using this one. Um, I did notice a lot of difference uh, with ascorbyl glucoside, which was very slow. And then I thought, okay, now I'm ready to move on to a little bit um, moderate potency. And that's why I decided to use this product. I noticed as soon as I started using this product only once a day, um, every day, I started to notice my mel melasma, though it is not intended to work on melasma, but it definitely uh, worked on it. It made it lighter over the time over the period of time i have been using it for almost more than six months now this 30 ml bottle actually lasted me for about six months or more i think even more so it literally worked on my melasma i didn't notice more difference um and it was getting lighter and my uh, pigmentation, I had hyperpigmentation also from my pregnancy around my mouth and that also got evened out. And overall, my skin looked more evened out. I did not face any irritation or breakouts from it. So this was working. This was definitely working. I also had a little bit of one or two acne marks here, which also got lightened with this one so i did notice that this was very effective um on any breakouts i was having very little tiny breakouts on any dark dark spots i was having it was super effective on that and i did notice it worked uh, like within two or three months i could see visible difference in my dark spots in my uh skin tone and also on my melasma spots so this definitely works. I am definitely going to stick to this one uh, if I have to repurchase. I, because I have sensitive skin and I do not have great experience working with higher potency ingredients like niacinamide 10% that irritated my skin like anything that was too strong for me. So I don't want to use uh, very strong products on my skin so probably I will stick to this one or maybe I may give try to the 15% one but that's where I am uh, summary if you are a beginner uh, to vitamin C this can be a beginner friendly product but I would still recommend if you have a sensitive skin I would still recommend you to start from a scorbyl glucoside solution 12% um, if you're not much familiar with how to mix and match because that product is does not have any conflict so basically you can use it in any skincare routine with any other active ingredients um, Whereas this one, you cannot use this one uh, in the same routine as niacinamide or EUK134 solution. Um, so that is something to be aware of. Um, other than that, this is a good serum. This definitely is more potent than the scorbyl glucoside 12% uh, solution. This also uh, gives visible, this also 
gives result faster than that one i would that is what i have noticed so definitely this is more potent than the scorbyl glucoside solution but overall it depends if you are a very beginner never done any skincare routine with active ingredients in it i would just start with scorbyl glucoside solution and then uh switch to this one if you do not have um very super sensitive skin um then you can also start with this one just make sure you do a patch test and start slowly use once a week twice a week and then gradually increase the frequency but this definitely works and i absolutely love this one for me this one is five out of five this definitely was worth the hype it got i definitely love this one not many people talked about this one but i think this is one of the products that i would actually like to repurchase from the ordinary so that's about today's video i hope you like it um do you have a favorite vitamin c serum please let me know in the comment section below because i would really like to switch up the vitamin c serum because i'm literally bored of it because i've been using this for more than six months now um I'm definitely interested in the 15% version and I'm also interested in probably the one from Vichy or La Rose Porsche but uh, I'm not sure which one I'm going to try but I definitely want to keep using vitamin C serum in my skincare routine because it did really a uh, lot of good things for my skin. So <laughs> that's it for today's video. I'll stop blabbering now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends if you like it. Uh, that's it for today. Have a nice day wherever you are and see you next time. Bye-bye.